Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 3 of our Selenium Grid with Docker video series. And in this video, we will be talking about writing simple code to run tests on multiple containers using Selenium Grid. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 and 2 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Alright, so let's get started. So in our last video, we were actually doing a linkage between two containers or otherwise called as three containers, which is nothing but a set of nodes and a hub. So you can see that we have a hub up and running and two nodes up and running. As you can see here, we can see the Docker logs. So this is the hub and this is the two nodes which is up and running, one for Firefox and one for Chrome, right? So now we have to write a very super simple code to run a test on two different nodes, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to steal some of the code which we have already discussed in our exit automation channel on this, the parallel test execution with NUnit 3.0. So you can see that we have two parts in this, part 13 and part 14. And this is actually a part of Selenium Automation with C Sharp video series of our exit automation channel. So if you go right here, you can see that we have these two videos. And here we actually discussed running test parallelly on multiple browser with a same machine. So this was actually running test on same machine instead of running in multiple machines. So we actually wrote a beautiful code for running test on multiple browsers in same machine using a small attribute which is nothing but the parallelizable attribute of NUnit 3.0. And you can see that we ran the test on the Firefox browser and also on the Chrome browser. So it was actually using the base and a hook class and this was a very super simple code that we wrote to run and execute the test on two different browsers. But this time I'm actually interested in not running in a same machine locally, rather I'm going to use the Selenium grid to perform that operation, which is nothing but I'm going to send the request to the Selenium hub and the Selenium hub will decide which browser it's actually hooked up with which browser and it will direct the test out there. And you know what, we can actually see the Selenium node configuration as well. So you can actually go to the localhost colon 4446, the port that we exposed, slash grid. If you go right here, you can see that you can see you're using the grid 2.53 right here and there is a monitoring page. If you go to the console, you can see that it is actually showing you what is the current remote control, it's a legacy, and what is the browser which is actually running there. So the web driver is actually running for the Chrome, and also there is a web driver running for Firefox. So you have two different browsers running in two different machines, or otherwise called as containers in our case, and there is a configurations as well. So I'm actually going to make use of these two guys to perform the operation. I mean running the test parallelly on multiple machines or multiple containers same time using this code. But the only change which I'm going to make and again I'm not going to really go through this code again because we have already discussed about this code a lot in our part 13 and part 14 of Selenium Automation with C Sharp video series in Excel Automation channel. So please go ahead and watch there. So the only change which I'm going to make is instead of opening a browser locally using this choose web driver method available right here, I'm actually going to replace this code with something like this. So here I'm going to use the remote web driver. So I'm setting the desired capability as Chrome for the Chrome browser and then I'm setting the platform as Linux and the remote web driver, I'm going to pass the URL, this one, the HTTP colon localhost colon 444 slash WD slash hub. And similarly for the Firefox browser, right? So this is the only change which I'm going to make right here. And this test is going to execute beautifully. So I'm just going to build the solution. We have already opened one of the container, which is actually running, I guess it is running the Chrome or Firefox. I'm not very sure about this. So I think it is actually running the Chrome, the 97F4, right? So if you go right here, it is 97F4B. So this is the ID of my container. So let me open one more container, which is actually running the Firefox. 
which is actually a port of 32776 so I'm gonna open that there we go and I, once again the password is going to be secret as we discussed in our previous video so I'm gonna open that so now we have two containers up and running right here so one container is actually running the node for Firefox and another container is running the node for Chrome so we have these two containers so this is the Chrome and this is the Firefox and now I'm going to start running the test and see how things works so what I'm going to do is basically I have modified a code a little bit by adding some of the thread sleep here right so that it will wait for a second and wait for like 20 seconds and here it wait for like 10 seconds to perform the operation so I'm just going to run the selector test and let's quickly see what is going to happen on these containers so you can see that both the tests are actually running parallelly this time it's not only once this browser is fully done the another test is going to open but both of these tests are running parallelly there we go so it is waiting right now for like 20 seconds and you can see it is happening performing the operation in both the time both the browsers at the same time so this test is actually done you can see the chrome test is actually done and the reason is because chrome test is waiting for only 10 seconds whereas the firefox test has to wait for like 20 seconds and is taking so much time to complete there we go this is also done and the test got executed so this is how you can actually execute the test on multiple browsers in multiple containers same time using selenium grid so this time we have improved a lot earlier in our exit automation channel we executed the test on multiple machines which is nothing but multiple vms and performed the operation and it was kind of okay because we have to have a whole vm installed in our machine and then we executed the test using raspberry pi and that was also okay because Raspberry Pi is a very, very small machine which cannot handle a lot of complex operation. But containers is going to be next evolution of virtualization technology where your browsers and your machines are actually containerized and it is going to execute from the same place. And you can even deploy the container on Windows Azure and you can execute it without even a single effort. So this proved the point that you can run test parallelly on multiple machines or multiple containers same time using Selenium Grid. Right? So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.